Hey guys, how is it going? This is Sam here. Welcome to another video. This is a lab session on a CDN, AWS CloudFront. Before we begin with uh, setting up a CloudFront distribution, let's uh, take a step back and let's create a you know uh, S3 bucket. The reason why I want to create an S3 bucket is simple. Let's uh, try to you know simulate uh, this scenario wherein uh, we have a bucket in a different region and uh, there will be some sort of uh, network latency if we try to access it and then we will try to implement CDN on top of that just to tackle this network latency the delay will be very less the performance will be improved if we are using CloudFront and the important thing to note is uh, this the region I'm, I'm connected to you know Mumbai region I've selected this as my region and uh, the bucket I am going to create it should be in a different region the farther it is the better it is so let's you know try to create a bucket in Ohio region and for that uh, let's quickly navigate to storage and uh, then S3 let's click on create bucket and just to be you know uh, sure uh, come up with a unique name try to come up with a unique name so I'll say CDN cloud front demo and as I said let's uh, go and select Ohio as a region let's click on create and it is created but remember you will have to enable the access the permissions so I'm gonna quickly do it I'll add everyone and I'm gonna give them list and upload delete permissions I'll save this I'll uh, try to upload a random file to it so let's uh, go ahead with this let's set up the permissions and uh, make everything public and I'll upload it and uh, the object is uploaded this is a text file and just to be sure let's uh, take a look at the permissions again so now we can see that uh, this is open to everyone I'm gonna go back to the AWS console and let's you know quickly make sure that uh, uh, that object is you know accessible so for that uh, if you remember um, you can get the URL from uh, the object level itself what you want to do is uh, go into the bucket click on that object and properties here you will be seeing the direct link to it I'm gonna quickly open this and make sure that this is uh, we, we can access this so uh, this is a text file ignore the you know region uh, this is the content of it so the region which I've selected or the region which I've created the bucket is in Ohio so we can access it and remember this was the URL let's quickly go back to the console and then under networking and content delivery we have CloudFront let's uh, get into that page and this is the uh, very first page the home page which we'll be seeing under uh, uh, CloudFront let's click on create distribution and you will be seeing this option uh, wherein it will be asking you for the type of the content there is uh, two popular contents as of now uh, uh, I mean there are two uh, one is web and uh, then we have got RTMP RTMP is for the you know uh, items which involves uh, kind of you know Adobe Flash media uh, files which will be using RTMP protocol and for the normal web contents we can always you know stick with web so I'm gonna go ahead with web and this is the page wherein you will have to you know fill quite a few things uh, this will involve you know origin settings uh, cache behavior settings distribution settings and things like that so let's you know uh, start with the very first one origin domain name so as I said uh, in the previous uh, theory session um, we have an option to uh, uh, select the origin for the CDN and uh, it does allow multiple origin uh, that option is there uh, with this we can always you know select more than one origin and typically uh, CDN uh, origins will be this it accepts S3 as a you know uh, origin uh, it does accept uh, ELBs, EC2 instances and even route 53 
we have created this bucket and uh, let's uh, use the same bucket CDN CloudFront 2017 demo this was the bucket which we've created a while back I'm gonna select it and then the origin path uh, if you are you know uh, struggling to understand what these fields are you have the information button over there just click on them and uh, it will give you more information uh, and origin path is nothing uh, other than uh, uh, you know the directory if you have uh, a certain file or a directory inside the uh, bucket which you would like to you know associate with your CDN you can always do that you can drill down to that particular directory which is inside the bucket not gonna do it uh, the goal is to you know um, associate the whole bucket with CDN so I'm gonna stick with the uh, same thing I'll leave it as blank and origin ID uh, this is a you know um, field wherein uh, uh, I mean which will be used to distinguish if you have multiple origins you can always you know label them this is sort of a label and then restrict bucket access this is an important option so once you click on uh, yes it will be enabled and it will restrict the bucket access remember this was the you know uh, object URL uh, you know the direct URL for that particular uh, uh, file in the object and once you enable this it will restrict that access it will never be able to you know uh, nobody will be able to access this URL and the only way to access the uh, bucket uh, object will be through the CDN URL so in, in that way you can ensure that all the you know requests are routed through CDN and uh, the object will be you know um, delivering high performance and low network latency next option is you know origin access identity this will force uh, you all the users to use your uh, CDN uh, URL so we will you know click on create new identity we don't have an existing identity so we will we'll say uh, create a new identity and we are going to leave the command as it is and then grant read permissions on bucket so this will grant read permissions on bucket uh, the moment you create CDN uh, it will it will give access to read the content of the bucket you can uh, always do it from here or you can manually uh, set the permissions at the bucket level so I'm gonna you know go ahead with uh, yes update bucket policy origin custom headers uh, it's a bit beyond uh, the scope of this video and the tutorial so I'm gonna leave it uh, as blank but uh, if you are wondering you can always you know click on this uh, information button over here and default cache behavior settings uh, this is the you know important section this is where we will be you know setting up the cache related details for the CDN distribution path pattern uh, so this will uh, allow the traffic to the entire bucket or even you can you know uh, set it to certain you know objects like JPGs or PDF files which is uh, inside the bucket uh, the default option is you know uh, this it will allow access to all it will forward the request to the uh, entire you know origin so as uh, our origin is the bucket it, it's gonna you know uh, open the traffic to that and then viewer protocol policy this is a cool and secure way uh, the viewer protocol policy and CDN will decide uh, whether to entertain all the HTTP and HTTPS request coming from the uh, user and it, it even you know provides uh, this option it will redirect HTTP uh, request and it will uh, convert those requests to HTTPS the users will be you know forced to you know switch from HTTP to HTTPS uh, it will you know increase the security for a certain reasons and then HTTPS it will only allow HTTPS access let's quickly you know uh, use this option redirect HTTP to HTTPS that way you know users will be forced uh, only to access HTTPS content and then HTTP methods it does support uh, these many varieties if, if it's again it's a bit out of uh, scope um, for this video I'm, I'm gonna you know uh, go ahead with the last one I'll not uh, select HTTP methods caching methods again it's a bit beyond the scope object cache caching uh, same is the case uh, if you are wondering you can always click on the information button so then we have the TTL settings we have minimum TTL maximum TTL and then default TTL if you remember from our uh, previous video the theory session of CDN default TTL it will be 24 hours so this is in seconds 8644 8640 seconds 
and that's going to be you know 24 hours so minimum ttl uh, this is the minimum amount of time in seconds that you want objects to stay in cloudfront cache and uh, maximum ttl uh, that that's a maximum time limit uh, till that time it, it's going to be uh, holding that content in the cdn cache and then the default ttl uh, we have already you know covered this forward cookies uh, these things i'll not be you know worrying much on these and then distribution settings uh, we have uh, you know option to use uh, waf something like you know web application uh, firewall and there are you know price classes different price classes uh, you can uh, set the regions only us canada europe us canada europe and asia and use all edge, edge locations it will give you best performance but uh, you know the cost is going to be high so remember that these are the you know three available price classes and uh, alternate domain names if you want to use your own you know custom uh, domain names or you know c names you have that option if you are uh, going to leave it as default um, there will be you know random uh, url uh, which will come up with this uh, uh, domain name dot uh, cloudfront dot net and that that's going to be the access point or the entry point for the you know cdn and that will take you directly to the uh, your origin in our case it's going to be the bucket which you have created in ohio region so that's that and uh, http versions it supports you can always you know change it and then root object uh, logging you can always you know turn on logging if you want to you know uh, keep an eye on the access and uh, you can even select the destination where the logs will be you know saved you have those options enable ipv6 and things like that will be here uh, comments and not gonna bother about that distribution state it 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 will be you know enabled i mean let, let's go with enabled and uh, let's click on you know create distribution so navigate uh, back to distributions and uh, you will see this is uh, still in progress it might take you know a couple of minutes let's uh, you know wait for some time by the way for the record uh, it took me roughly 25 minutes i've started creating it uh, somewhere around you know 104 and it just got you know completed right now and this is in deployed status next thing we what we want to do is uh, expand this domain name and uh, try to you know hit this let me quickly open a new tab and then paste it there we are so now it's connecting to um, uh, the cdn distribution endpoint and then uh, if i pass the you know uh, object name it will it will be you know taken from that and as I said, remember the first time we try to access uh, the object through CDN uh, endpoint or uh, CDN URL, it's not going to be that uh, uh, fast. But from the second try onwards, it will be uh, taken from the cache, the CDN cache, and it's going to be you know fast. Uh, it will it will you know help you with uh, you know um, what do you call meeting your network latency requirement. It will improve the you know uh, performance and things like that few other things i want to show you is this um, once you uh, click on your distribution you have these kind of options you have a general tab uh, wherein you'll be seeing you, you kind of you know get to review things whatever you have you know set up during the creation of a cdn and then origin uh, we can always add uh, multiple origins uh, you know you can you can do it by clicking on create origin and uh, you can keep on adding you know multiple origins and then behavior we have set up uh, uh, we have set up th this is it uh, redirect http to https and you can you can see it right it, it, it's taking us to you know https you can always you know change the behavior and uh, you can add more behaviors uh, over uh, uh, here i mean you can click on create behavior and it will let you to do it and error pages you can always come up with your own custom uh, error uh, messages or er error you know HTML files and uh, you, you could do it by clicking on create custom error response by here you can you can even uh, mention the you know error code and um, error caching minimum TTL and things like that can be you know set up here and another thing uh, this we have already covered it in our uh, theory session it's about the restrictions we have the geo restrictions and uh, to enable it let's click on edit and it will take you to this page you can enable it there is this option you can uh, whitelist or you can uh, go for you know blacklist and this will be based on the you know countries geographical uh, regions to be precise 
and if i want to you know blacklist see for example uh, um, you know zambia i can click on add and i'll i'll finish this and this uh, the country is you know blacklisted uh, i can always you know remove it the important point to remember is this you cannot uh, go with whitelist and blacklist at the same time it's either whitelist or blacklist cannot you know run with both whitelist and blacklist at the same time so whitelist will enable access to that uh, you know particular uh, countries the users from those geographical locations they will have access to the cdn endpoint if you are going with blacklist and say for example you are you know uh, blacklisting afghanistan for example no offense uh, you know guys but uh, yeah if you are you know going with afghanistan and uh, you are adding them into the blacklist users from that country uh, they'll never be able to access our uh, cdn the cdn endpoint or the bucket uh, uh, you know objects so that that's about you know um, geographical locations and uh, the geographical restriction then you have invalidation options to remove uh, you know invalid objects from the cloud front uh, edge caches or cache uh, you can always you know add uh, tags by going into this last tab which says tags take your time uh, go ahead and create your own cloud front distribution and uh, test it out and understand what is this uh, concept of a uh, cdn is cloud front distribution is once you're done playing around with this make sure that you come back to distributions select your distribution and click on disable and it's going to take some time uh, it, it's in progress once it is disabled currently the delete option is grayed out it will become activated you can click on delete and that way you can stay on top of uh, the course management remember that as well and that being said i i think we have covered uh, uh, you know pretty much uh, everything uh, to get you up to speed to uh, cdn i mean uh, to create or deploy a cdn uh, network cdn distribution to be precise and let me know in case if uh, you have any you know um, questions or queries i'll see you in the next video thanks a lot for watching guys have a great day